again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 4th of February, 2019. Don't know what's going to happen in Virginia. Don't know if Ralph Northam is going to step down or be thrown out. But it looks like the Lieutenant Governor, Justin Fairfax, might not be a shoo-in. If, in fact, Ralph Northam steps aside or is pushed aside. This is an article posted on Fox News, written by Alex Pappas and Brookie Singman, S-I-N-G-M-A-N. Title, Washington Post pushes back on Justin Fairfax's denials of sexual assault claim, publishes graphic details. You see a photograph of this uh, lieutenant governor. Graphic new details are emerging about a newly revealed allegation of sexual assault against Virginia Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax. As the Washington Post pushes back against Fairfax's claim that the newspaper found serious problems with the original accusations when it literally opted not to publish the account. Hey, you remember when President Trump said that he would release the names? of those individuals that caused the expenditure of, what was it, $17 million for sexual misconduct by members of the elected representatives? You think it's possible that Justin Fairfax might have been one of those? Oh, by the way, Trump never did release that list, and he should have. And I said he should have prior to the midterms. No one wanted to vote for one of these perverts, and they obviously probably did, not knowing that they voted for one of these perverts. This is another one of those promises not kept by President Trump. The Post did not significantly red flags and inconsistencies within the allegations, as the Fairfax statement incorrectly said. The Washington Post said in a story published Monday, sharply disputing the lieutenant governor's statements. The allegations against Fairfax, a Democrat, first surfaced on the website Big League Politics, the same right-wing political blog that published the now infamous yearbook photos showing someone in black faces and someone in a KKA costume on Virginia Governor Ralph Northam's 1984 yearbook page. Fairfax has vehemently denied the accusations. I wonder if he'd agree to a lie detector test. You think that he would? I'll bet you five bucks that he wouldn't. In a pre-dawn denial on Monday, Fairfax tweeted a statement saying he, quote, has never assaulted anyone, ever, in any way, shape, or form. Well, you want to take a look at that statement from Justin Fairfax. Fairfax said the accuser woman first approached the Washington Post over a year ago, prior to Fairfax's inauguration in 2018. Now, you want to think about that. Why would she have done it if it wasn't true prior to his inauguration? The Post carefully investigated the claim for several months. Fairfax's office said in a statement, after being presented with facts consistent with the lieutenant governor's denial of the allegation, the absence of any evidence corroborating the allegation and significant red flags and inconsistencies within the allegation, the Post made the consideration decision not to publish the story. In its Monday story, the Washington Post acknowledged investigating the claims and deciding not to publish, but it said the Fairfax statement incorrectly claimed the paper found a significant red flag and inconsistencies within the allegations. Quote, Fairfax and a woman told different versions of what happened in the hotel room with no one else present, the paper said. The Washington Post could not find anyone who would corroborate either version. The Washington Post didn't name the accuser, but the paper said Fairfax and a woman first met in Boston at a 204 Democratic National Convention. The woman described a sexual encounter that began with consensual kissing and ended in a forced act that left her crying and shaken. The Washington Post reported, quote, she said Fairfax guided her to the bedroom where they continued kissing, and then at one point she realized she could not move her neck. 
She said Fairfax uses strength to force her to perform oral sex. Well, what she should have done is chomp down on that salami of his. The statement from Fairfax said that before big league po politics posted about it, not one other reputable media outlet has seen fit to air the false claim. How do you know it's a false claim? Only now, at a time of intense media attention surrounding Virginia politics, has the false claim been raised again. The lieutenant governor will take appropriate legal action against those attempting to spread this defamatory and false allegation, the statement read. Speaking to reporters in Richmond Monday, Fairfax discussed his relationship with the accuser, saying he was 25 and unmarried when they met at the convention. He denied any wrongdoing, calling it a consensual encounter. Fairfax called it a totally fabricated story and questioned the timing. Such a shame this is weaponized and used as a smear because this is a very real issue, Fairfax said. The big league politics post that prompted Fairfax's denial published a purported Facebook post from the woman that read, quote, Imagine you were sexually assaulted during the DNC convention in Boston in 2004 by a campaign staffer. You spend the next 13 years trying to forget it ever happened until one day you find out he's the Democratic candidate for statewide office in a state some 3,000 miles away, and he wins that election in November 2017. Then by strange, horrible luck, it seems increasingly likely that he'll get a very big promotion. She did not name Fairfax, but the report implied she was referring to the Lieutenant Governor. The denial comes amid a political firestorm in Virginia. There's a photo of the Governor Murch showing a man in blackface in another in the Ku Klux Klan garb in 1984 medical school yearbook. On Monday, the president of the College of William and Mary said Northam will no longer attend events on campus Friday because of the controversy. Well, here's what I think, folks. There's more to read in the article, but here's what I think. I think that the act that was performed, and I believe it was performed unwillingly on her part, she's probably not the only one that he's done that to. So what we now need is we need a couple of other women to come forward so the American people can learn the truth about this, what I believe is a dirtbag, sexual abuser. We'll see if any other women come forward. Virginia is a mess, but you know what the real problem is? They're whacked out. Democrats. That's exactly what the real problem is. I'll attach the link. There's an embedded video. You look at it. You let me know what you think. Yes, yeah, sure as hell know what I think. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to send a copy to the Lieutenant Governor. Wish him luck for me. Thanks for listening. He's going to need it. Especially if more women come forward, won't he?